guys, it's Ever Like a Friend. So today, I'm going to read you a nice story from my storybook. Today we are gonna, um, today we are gonna read why the robin has a red feast. Okay, why the robin has a red feast? In the land where it is always winter all the time, there once lived a man and his son. It was so cold that they lived in a house made of snow and their clothes were all made of fur. But even with the warm fur, it was cold in the snow house. The man and his son needed a fire as well. They needed it to heat the snow house. They needed it to have hot food to eat so they could never let their fire go out as without it they, sh they would surely die. Whenever the father went out hunting, he would leave his son with a great pile of wood. The fire burned brightly by the entrance to... I'll let you see the picture guys. read the next page the snow house the first thing the boy had learned was never ever to let the fire go out now one of the creatures the man was always hunting was the great white bear the great white bear hated the man and used all his cunning to hide from the hunter the the bear saw that the fire was precious to the man and his son. He thought that if only he could stamp out the fire with his huge white paws, man and his son would fall into such a deep, cold sleep that they would never wake again. So the great white bear watched and waited for his chance. One day the father fell ill all day he tossed and turned on his bed he was not able to go out hunting the great white bear watched as the son fed the fire with sticks as his father had taught him the next day the father was no better the son looked after him as well as he could but by now he was going hungry and at night he could hear the great white bear prowling around the no house and he was afraid the third day the father hardly moved at all and the boy had to fight to keep his eyes open he he put he put some more sticks in onto the fire but eventually he could keep his eyes open no longer he fell into a deep deep sleep. The great white bear pronounced, he stomped and stamped and put the fire out with his huge white paws. Then he padded away, leaving the boy and his father to their fate. It grew bitterly cold in the house. Frost and snow gathered round the furs on the bed and round the snow gathered round the furs on the bed and Round the snow gathered around the furs on the bed and round the boy's furry hood. Till he slept on and on. Both father and son grew stiff with cold. The boy had one special friend. It was a tiny little brown bird called Robin. The boy used to feed the robin and let it shelter in the snow house. When the blizzards blew, the little bird came hopping up to the snow house and he saw right away that 
all was not well. He twitched around the boy's head, calling to warn him that the fire had gone out. But still the boy slept on, exhausted by all his efforts to look after his father. The robin scratched among the ashes where the great white bear had torn to sleep, looking for just one tiny ember that was still alight. He 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 found one tiny spark and he began fanning it with his little wings. He flapped his wings for all. For all he was worth and slowly slowly the flame got its spread to another piece of stick and still the robin flapped and flapped his wings. Let me show you the pictures. The heat was growing now and the robin's feathers were scurrying. More and more sticks got alight and the brave little robin felt his just feathers burn. Red with heat, the boy woke up with a start and leapt to his feet. He saw the fire was nearly out and he rushed to the pile of more sticks. He did not see his tiny friend flutter off into the darkness outside. It grew warmer in the snow house and it's great joy the boy saw his father stirring on the bed his eyes were clear and sickness had passed in the distance the great white bear stumped off a long way from the snow house he could see he was not going to get the better of the hunter and his son next time the robin came to the snow house for food the boy was puzzled to see the little brown bird now had a bright red breast, but he was never to know why. So this was the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like my videos and my channel. Bye guys. See you in my next video.